This video is brought to you with Hot UK Deals. Now this Black Friday, there's gonna be so many deals buzzing around, it's gonna be really difficult to decipher what's actually a good deal. Make sure you hit the Hot UK Deals website and they've got a mobile app as well to decipher and see very easily and quickly the best deals around. Over 2 million members in the UK find, share and rate deals from across the web and high street every single day. You can let the Hot UK Deals community find the best deals for you. An example of a great deal I found actually for a friend's child for Christmas is this almost half price McLaren Senna Lego version. The platform is completely community driven with the ability to vote each deal hot or cold and you can easily find the best deals as voted by other shoppers. You can ask questions and share insights on hot deals, discount codes, tips and general discussions. And as I mentioned before, they've got an app which is absolutely free, enabling you to sift through the best deals on the move with ease. And it is that very app, if you use the link below, you can download for free right now ahead of this Black Friday. But it's not just for Black Friday, it is ongoing for life, the best place to find the best deals. So get clicking, it supports the channel, it supports me, and also you can save yourself a load of cash. So get in the mix and let's get on with the video. Right you lot, take two. I'm here today at Porsche Centre Reading once again, this time round to actually collect my Turbo S. So many of you will remember a video probably about a week or so ago now, whereby I called it collecting my 911 Turbo S, uh, and then I didn't actually collect it. I went home in my Range Rover because uh, I fumbled the paperwork on the funding side, uh, and it didn't get paid out in time. So I booked the handover, I booked uh, the classic giveaway is 968, which is ending very soon. You need to get involved in. I'd booked that to come down for the delivery. Uh, I'd booked uh, the, the handover bay, the guy's time here, blah, blah, blah. And last minute, uh, the funding didn't go through in time because I hadn't signed the paperwork early enough. So, however, we're going to go in. We're actually going to collect the car today. We're going to start her up. Uh, we're going to move her around. I'm going to give my first impressions inside the car with the car fired up. And you're going to be able to listen to that exhaust without the sports exhaust option because I think some of you will be surprised how loud it actually is without that sports exhaust option so without further faff then oh we've got a, um, a Bentayga by the way from Bentley over here I've actually featured this uh, in my historics auction preview video this is a V8 Bentley Bentayga that we've currently got on the TG fleet at the moment uh, and I've also got some number plates here as well which I forgot last time around on the collection and some of you pointed out that there was a 911 plate just a generic 911 plate on the car so we've now got some plates in there thanks to Reg transfers uh, I think some of you thought and I did get some messages on this. I think some of you thought that the car wasn't actually mine. It was some sort of blag uh, that I hadn't bought it. And because of the number plate thing and the fact that I didn't actually collect it, I think some of you thought that it was a blag. Uh, sadly for me and sadly for my bank balance, it's not a blag. I'm currently here in the press side of things. So this is where all the scroungers come to get press cars. So I'm surprised we haven't seen any YouTube scroungers this morning. I'm just gonna go and hunt some out because uh, you usually find a load of scrounging in this car park. So you'll recognize some of these cars um, from various channels. Um, they come around here and they, they pick up the cars and they do their little videos and whatnot. Uh, myself included, I've been here. I've, I've scrounged a car or two. It's jolly nice actually. It's a jolly nice facility. Um, but they've got loads of cars I'm sure you'll recognize. And that particular 911T there is the car that I watched on YouTube before buying mine. So I guess the model does work on some channels. That was Lee Sibley's channel. Right, shut up Tom. Let's go inside. Let's go and get the car. That's what you're here for. As I drearily explained in the last video, uh, Porsche Centre Reading are actually uh, renovating at the moment, so they're extending the showroom out. However, more excitingly, my Turbo S is in here. This is the same handover bear as last time. This time there's no cover on it because I've already seen it, so let's go inside. Right, the essentials have been gained. Number plate's here, coffee is here, and we're in the handover bay with some building work going on. So you've seen this car before then. We've actually got T9E TV. I'm mean, a little bit naughty because actually what happens is um, that this is how the plate ordinarily should be spaced. However, I just moved the E to there. And actually, although technically not 100% a million percent correct, ANPR can still read it and I've never had trouble in years of driving around. Uh, and the front plate, um, I will be putting a sticker on that pretty shortly as well. I've got a sticker one over there, uh, which is all reflective and can be read by ANPR as well. Sadly for me, um, so I can still get uh, congestion charge fines and all the rest of it. Although not with Cora. Cora, ladies and gentlemen. Cora, if you don't know about Cora, go and get Cora. We're gonna get her out then, we're gonna get the aero extended and we're gonna put lift down as well. 
plate on then. I have told the guys here that this is a show plate, so don't tell Porsche Center Reading off. So it's just going on for filming. then out into the lovely November weather. I'm getting deja vu here. Getting deja vu. A couple of things I didn't mention last time around in the video. I actually got the mirror bases here painted because I think it just makes a bit of a cleaner look, particularly as there's black on the side there. I didn't want too many different sort of black bits and bobs on the side of the car, so it just cleans up the kind of the side profile. And that is really about it. It's just extended the aero kit out there. That's pretty much about it now. I think it's time to jump in then and actually take this car home. So good. Full tank. Class act, these guys. They've been really, really, really good, especially given the mess around that's been going on. They've actually given me two handovers. Great guys, really, really good guys here. Controversially, I didn't actually put Burmester in, I've only got bows. But other than that, it's good news. And we've also got this little handover book here. We've got this little handover box. In this little box, you get your spare key, a fob, and a little picture from handover as well. So really, really, really good bunch here at Reading. A huge, huge thank you to the guys. And I'm sure I'll be back here very soon, but I'm over the moon with this car. I love the quilting in here. It's just so cool. And I really like the silver as well, the GT silver with the aluminium bits here. It's a free option actually, the brushed aluminium and the GT silver bits. Um, I don't think it's a cost option and it just works so well. And again, the painted mirror bases from inside here just looks really cool. I was worried how this red stitching would come out because I'm not ordinarily a red stitching fan, but I'm really pleased. And I also really appreciate all the feedback on the spec as well. I was a little bit nervous. I thought a load of you would hate it, but actually you don't. You actually do like it. So I'm, I'm amazed by that. I thought you'd give me abuse. Let's just listen actually. I'm going to change the driving mode and see whether it makes it louder with the sports exhaust. We're in normal. Sport Plus, the revs just go up ever so slightly. There we go, look at that. It is slightly higher revving, it doesn't go mental sound wise, but we are going to sort that out with Mr. JCR, the guy that has done amazing work with my GT3 RS. So for now then, I'm gonna leave it. I know this was my second collection day video. Thank you very much if you watched both of them. Do check me out on Instagram. I'll leave my little handle up there and go and say hello from this video if you've tuned in and you've got this far. I really appreciate all the support, guys, and I'll see you all very, very soon. Cheers, guys. Bye. And just before I head off, another huge thank you to Charles and Dean. If you're looking to fund your next supercar, make sure you get a quote from those guys because they are the best in the game. For now, thank you very much for watching. Do subscribe, blah, 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 and I'll see you all very soon. Bye.